Our final topic for this course is to look at the impact of exchange rates. Uh, so you'll take other courses on international trade, uh, but let's take a moment and let's look at uh, why we would demand foreign currency. So what is the role of exchanging Canadian dollars for other currency? Why would we do it? And what happens to the Canadian dollar relative to other currencies like the US dollar or the British pound? And why do we care about any of it? Well, to get us started on this topic, let's look at what is called the Big Mac Index. So the Economist magazine has been doing what's called the Big Mac Index for decades. And what they can do is they're looking at the value of the Big Mac in various different countries. So the Big Mac is actually one of the few products that is essentially identical throughout the world. And so because it's essentially the same product, we can actually do a comparison of how much it costs to buy a Big Mac in one country versus another versus how much it costs in another country. And so according to purchasing power parity, we'll just write that out here. So according to purchasing power parity, the only difference between two identical goods in two different countries should be the exchange rate. So for example, if one Canadian dollar was equal to one US dollar, then a $5 Big Mac in the US should be a $5 Big Mac in Canada because our exchange rates are par, one for one. If instead you took your US dollar and when you convert it to Canadian dollars, you got two of them, then a $5 Big Mac in the US should cost $10 Canadian. The only difference in the price of the Big Macs should be the exchange rate. Okay. So that's what purchasing power parity is. And so we can use the Big Mac to actually compare what purchasing power parity says the currency should be worth, so what should the exchange rate be, versus what it actually is. And so The Economist puts out uh, publications like the one you see here, and zero here denotes the fact that we're um, not under or overvalued. So you see it's a comparison to the US dollar, which is why the US one here is on that zero line. When you see markers to the right, like you can see for January 2018 for Switzerland, Norway, and Sweden, that's saying that those currencies are overvalued, okay? Because when we look at the Big Mac index and what the exchange rate should be, it doesn't match what the exchange rate actually is. Those to the left, it says the currency is undervalued. And it suggests that they are undervalued because when we look at what purchasing power parity says the currency should be, it doesn't match what it actually is. So let's actually take a look at Canada. Okay, so if you were to buy a Big Mac, so 2019, a Big Mac, and this comes out of Toronto, uh, $6.09 Canadian for a Big Mac. Okay. If you were to buy that same exact Big Mac in the U.S. in 2019, okay, it is $5.58 U.S. So we can actually look at those two values of the Big Mac and determine what the exchange rate should be. So we can do this in two ways. We can do $6.09 Canadian divided by $5.58 US. And when we do that calculation, we take 6.09 divided by 5.58, you get 1.09. So what does that tell you? It says that what should be the exchange rate is the exchange rate should be one US dollar is equal to 1.09 Canadian, okay? Now, you can choose to go the other direction. So we could look at $5.58 US divided by 6.09 Canadian. And if we do that calculation, it's just the inverse of what we just did, 5.58 
divided by 6.09, we get 0.916, so we'll just round to 0.92. So that tells us that the exchange rate should be that one Canadian dollar is equal to 0.92 US. So notice whatever's on the bottom of your formula is what you've just found uh, the value of that currency. Now, we want to know not if the US dollar is under overvalued, we want to know if the Canadian dollar is under or overvalued. So we want not one US dollar equals, we want one Canadian dollar equals. Okay, so it, this is what our exchange rate should be according to purchasing power parity. What is it actually? Okay, well, we need to go to the internet and find out. So here is where you can find the Big Mac index for The Economist. But if we go and Google the exchange rate, this says for 2019, one US dollar equals 1.33 Canadian. So let's write that down. One US dollar equals 1.33 Canadian. Now remember, we don't want to know if the US dollar is under or overvalued. We want to know if the Canadian dollar is under or overvalued. So we have to invert it. So we take 1 divided by 1.33, 1 divided by 1.33, and we get 0.75 US dollars. So right now, if you were to exchange your Canadian dollars for US dollars, one Canadian dollar would buy you 75 cents US. So here's our actual exchange rate. Here is what purchasing power parity in the Big Mac index says it should be. So when we look at this, notice that the actual is less than what it should be. So our actual is undervalued. So if we were to look at a Big Mac index like what you see here, we would have for Canada, it'd be over here on the left, okay? Now, that's for the ones we just calculated was 2019. We can see in July 2017, it was also undervalued. In 2018, it was closer to being its actual matching what it should be. Uh, we can look at... I think I have some other ones here. Here's 2014, 2016. So a little bit smaller, but you can see here's Canada. And you can see in 2016, we were undervalued. In 2014, we were overvalued. So we, we do a lot of hovering around uh, both ends because our exchange rate changes quite a bit. Uh, we can look at, let's go back. Um, the Economist requires a subscription. If you don't have a subscription, there are other places that post the Big Mac index. Here's July 2019. You can see in July 2019, a Big Mac cost $5.74 US. You can see uh, in Canada, the Big Mac, and this is here is in US dollars, was $5.16. So what they did is they took the price of a Big Mac in Canadian dollars, converted according to the exchange rate, and you can see it ended up being a number that's lower than the US, so that creates a currency that's undervalued. Remember, purchasing power parity says the only difference should be your exchange rate. Once you account for the exchange rate, you should be paying the same for the exact same product. So according to this table here, Switzerland is overvalued and everyone else is undervalued compared to the US dollar. So the Big Mac does a comparison to the US dollar. We can use the method that we just did to compare other currencies. It doesn't have to be um, to the US. So you can see in our calculation here, we took US dollars divided by Canadian dollars to figure out what it should be but you could do that same process with the British pound, um, with the euro, 
You want to know if the Canadian dollar is under or overvalued, so the Canadian needs to be on the bottom. If you want to know if the euro is undervalued, then it would be the euro that would be in the bottom of your formula. But you can do these exact same steps. You can take the uh, prices of Big Macs, or maybe there's another product that is the same in both countries, figure out what purchasing power parity says the exchange rate should be, and compare it to the actual exchange rate. And in fact, you'll do an assignment uh, where you look at iPhones, for example, and what does the iPhone say the exchange rate should be, and how does it compare to what it actually is.